Hey everyone, here I'm in Subnautica and I'm going to show you how to find silver. So what you're looking for is a sandy area a bit like this with some stone underneath it and that's the little thing that we need to find here. Now these are called sandstone outcrops and if I jump out of my little sub thing here, my little seam off, uh, we can go down here and then you can see it's called sandstone outcrop and you just break it by hitting A on the Xbox Series X which I'm on here and then you'll get a drop of the silver ore that's falling down. Come back. <laughs> And then you've got, to, <laughs> you've got to try and grab it before it falls away. That's quite funny though. I totally missed it because I was talking. But if you miss it, it should just fall right down the bottom. So you might want to double hit. Stop rolling. <laughs> That's quite funny. But that was silver. Now you don't always get silver from these. So sometimes you'll get other drops. You'll get lead. You'll also get gold. Um, but often you'll get silver as well. And of course, silver is a very important component early in the game. It's needed for lots of different stuff. Um, and that's how you find it. So you want to find this area here. In terms of how far away I am from different things, there's my life pod over there. It's about 360 away. Uh, I'll go back to my seam off. Um, but that's how you find silver. And then you can use that in your fabricator to make lots of different things. So whatever needs a component for that. So I'll just jump back here in the wall. And uh, yeah, that's what you're looking for. So I tend to find them more here. Sometimes you can find more a little bit deeper down. So it's worth having a little look around, but they are still pretty rare to find. And even in this area, you will also still find limestone outcrops as well. So they look a little more jaggedy. They're not as smooth. So you can see, I've been looking around here for a while now and I, I haven't seen that many. The last drop that I got was uh, a, was the last one I had a gold from a sandstone but we'll just have a little look around see if we can find another one for you just so you get an idea of how how often they come so there's a limestone outcrop so you see it's more jaggedy um, that's not what we want I'm crashing into everything I'm gonna blow my seam off up in a minute terrible there's also limestone down there so you can see they're not as common by any stretch of the imagination um, sometimes if you go a bit deeper you might find a bit more but you see there still limestone so Whoops, let's just see whether we can find one relatively quickly. Doesn't look like it, does it? See, there's not many around. I have collected quite a bit of it over the time though. So we'll go over here and just have a little drive about. This is of course much easier when you've got um, your seam off built, which takes a little while to discover all the different things. If you're getting a bit confused about Subnautica, have a look at the rest of my channel and I will try and help you. Again, limestone there. So you see limestone's much easier to find than sandstone. Um, let's just keep going to see whether we can find one. Another way you can find it is using grav traps, um, which you can't really build until later in the game because you need to find the plans for those or the blueprints, uh, which takes a little while. I was just hoping I could find you another one though. It takes a while as you can see. So sometimes if you look a little bit deeper, so we can have a little look around here, see if there's anything down here. No, not much at all. Let's go a little bit down here, see if we can find one. Seek fluid intake. God, we've gone so far, I'm running out of water. But I'm hoping we'll find one more. Just what well, I'd like to show you that you also get different drops from them. So we'll try going a bit deeper. I believe, there we go, there's one there. Took a while though, didn't it? But that gives you an idea of how long you might be swimming around. So it's much easier when you've got a seam off, because then you haven't got your oxygen problem. And then there I got lead, so you see you don't always get silver. Um, so we will just have a quick look around here, see whether there's anything else. While we're here, there's another one. So you see here is actually quite a good place. You've got to be relatively close for it to actually give you the option of getting it. Lead again. Um, so yeah, you can end up with a bit of lead. Lead's useful as well though for reinforcing stuff. Um, the other drop, like I say, you'll get is gold. Um, which again is also very useful and typically you'll find them well within your uh, range of the seam off just see whether we get any more it'd be nice to find one more silver wouldn't it but you won't get them from limestone so if you were after silver you must find the sandstone one so there's just for uh, clarity's sake you can see there's a limestone one I'll just show you so limestone you see far more jaggedy and we'll just whack that and I get copper ore from that one. Was that a, and there's a sandstone, so you see much smoother. Oh, there's something, something big and scary going to take me. There we go, another bit of silver. Ah, go away from me, fishy. Um, so there you go. Hopefully that was useful to you. If it was, please give us a thumbs up. That's much appreciated. Anything that's confusing you as Subnautica, do let me know and I'll try my best to help. Thanks very much for watching.